Well, an Arkansas man named a person of interest in the disappearance and death of a Washington man. state mother and daughter remains behind bars tonight, but this is not the first time he's been in trouble with the law. In fact, he is still facing a murder charge here in Arkansas. THB 11's Ashley Godwin finds... <laughs> So he's facing the murder charge. He's on the streets and he killed someone else in another state. Doubt how this man slipped through the cracks of the justice system. Slipped through the cracks? The fucking justice system is like a crate when it comes to sun, man. Shit. Obviously, it's always a possibility that uh, when the individual out on bond, other crimes could be committed. 27-year-old Kirkland Warren is from Arkansas, but is currently sitting behind bars in Vancouver, Washington, a person of interest in the deaths of a woman and her daughter. According to police reports, Warren was an ex-boyfriend to the woman, facing charges of violating domestic violence protection orders, assault, drive-by shooting, and unlawful possession of a firearm. Now, this woman and her daughter are fucking dead. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Unbelievable. And his ass was out on a murder fucking... He's out on bond for another murder in, in, in Arkansas. Jesus Christ, man. We wear, we wear, we wear out our welcome, man. That's the only thing that's going to fuck it up. Because I don't think gliders are, can actually do anything about this. Because it's going to take the men to do it. But I think we're just going to fucking wear out our welcome, man. We're going to fucking push this shit to the limit. And unlawful possession of a firearm. But this isn't the first time Warren has had a run-in with the law. In 2017, in a recorded confession to Arkansas police, he confessed to shooting Pine Bluff's Curtis Urquhart. He said Urquhart wanted money, and he said no. The report states that Warren said he became fearful of his life, and he shot and killed Urquhart. He then drove to a gravel road near Stuttgart, where he dumped the body in a ditch. Police charged him with first-degree murder and abuse of a corpse, and was later released on bond. But how did Warren slip through the cracks, traveling all the way to Washington State in the meantime? Since his murder charge in 2017, there have been several continuances of his trial, the most recent one being in November of last year. How did you catch a murder in 2017 and you have been on out on bond and it's 2023? you explain that to me, Fabian? It's 2023. This is, this is unbelievable. What's that? This dude's got, you talking about this dude's rap sheet? No, it's not even a rap sheet. He caught a body in 2017, got out on bond, and he hasn't gone to trial yet. Um, I'll say this. I think uh, COVID had a lot to deal with it. I do know because of that, a lot of people's things got postponed even until now and until next year. A lot of people's uh, trials. When did COVID postponed. start? So COVID started three years after he caught the body. No, nah, yeah, and and I'm saying like because of COVID, even things that people should have had then are being postponed even till sometimes past. That's like somebody. Now. That's like somebody getting in a car accident and you telling me they died of COVID. He committed the murder in 2017. <laughs> yeah. 2018, 2019, 2020. I don't know, man. If the if the if the system at play wanted to do something about this shit, they, it would not be difficult. No, it wouldn't. They don't want to. They don't want to. They don't want to stop this. They want to encourage it. He's out on bond for murder for six years. I just don't. Yeah, I just don't think they give a fuck like that about it. Shit. COVID, COVID started like November 2019, by the way. And uh, yeah, it, it, like I said, it is pretty relevant. Doc. Like I know even like uh, dude's case from school, like I remember his shit got postponed until I think he just had his like trial for some shit he did uh, drive by like 20, like barely last year. 
It made a start in 20, 20, November 2019, but nothing really happened until like March of, of 2020. Right. I remember Mar March is when everything just right. kicked off. Exactly. March was the lot. Like in 2019, nobody had ever fucking heard of that shit. 17, there have been several continuances of his trial, the most recent one being in November of last year. Warren was not required to stay in Arkansas after bonding out of jail, and the judge did not add any requirement for GPS monitoring. <laughs> so you, you kill a guy, dump his body. It's not like you killed the guy, called the cops, said, hey, man, here's what happened. You killed the guy, you dumped his body in the woods. You got caught. The judge gives you a bond. You bond out. He gives you no requirements and you free reign to go anywhere in the country you want. You're not required to stay in your state. That's so fucking dangerous, man, for the rest of the public, man. <laughs> God, do Watch him get bound for this shit, too. I mean, we're talking about racism. Listen. At this point, racism is, would just be doing, like, doing the criminal justice system, operating it in an efficient manner. This is, this is ridiculous, man. I got out on, and he's been out for six years, so he did go five years fighting the, his murderous impulse, and it just. You left him out too long, and he killed two more people. I, I just don't. People, it, it, people gonna get tired of hearing about how the criminal justice system is working against y'all. In every fucking story, the fucking sun man is like fucking just like winning. I feel like most people are already. You do? For that's what you hear from people you talk to in the streets or in the work? Yeah. I feel like a good I feel like not not obviously I wouldn't say all yet, you know, because no, you know, no, 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 but but no. like I feel like a good amount of people are already like catching on to it. Like it's just annoying for people now. <laughs> yeah, those those people don't have any power to do anything about it. Though. No, yeah, yeah. Like we can't do shit about it. And like other people I know said it, we can't do a damn thing, but like it, it's I mean, coming. it's coming. That's, but... It just depends. I mean, it, that's why like uh you say that um yeah, just to run the criminal justice system to actually work would be so far gone from where we've gotten. It would be considered just massively unjust and racist and everything like that but it's like the the voices that's where you have to factor in the the systems that that deal in information because if people have been encouraged people who who run this script and lie are promoted and people who tell the truth are shut down and persecuted yeah this is this is this is so dangerous what this judge did was literally like put the time bomb in like burying a time bomb like at a bus stop and then just a busy bus stop and just putting like the timer just rolling it to some random time in the future and then just leaving it there. That's been hopeless. He's been out for six years since he killed the guy and dumped his body in the woods. And he had just been who knows how many states he's been through from Arkansas to fucking Washington. Oh, plenty. And the judge did not add any requirement for GPS monitoring here. Warren was not required to stay in Arkansas after bonding out of jail, and the judge did not add any requirement for GPS monitoring. Jefferson County Sheriff Lafayette Woods says Warren did not appear to have any red flags that would have alerted authorities that he needed more restrictions to his bail conditions. He had a notable family in the area, wasn't considered a flight risk, and he did not have a criminal history. What I know about the family, uh, well respected, um, he does not speak in that time to be an individual that would have been capable of committing 
Um, such a heinous crime. Vancouver. What does that mean, man? What the fuck does that mean? How do you explain him dumping the body in the ditch instead of calling the cops? <laughs> if you didn't think he was capable of doing anything, doing anything like that, that's stupid. <laughs> like, just, what the fuck are you talking about? I speak in that time to be an individual that would have been capable of committing um, such a heinous crime. Vancouver police have not charged Warren for the deaths of his ex-girlfriend or her daughter. His bond has been revoked in Arkansas. In Little Rock, Ashley Godwin, THV 11 News. Thanks, Ashley. Now, it's expected that Vancouver police will keep Warren until this investigation is finished. Sheriff Woods tells us it could take a year before Warren can be extradited back to Arkansas to face trial in Arkansas. It's messed up. Killed that woman and her daughter. Jesus Christ, whack to 